Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 10 for our Fortigate Firewall series. So in this video, we are going to understand the interface type of Fortigate. First is aggregate and the second is redundant. So in this video, I'm going to cover what is aggregate interface type and what is redundant interface type. What exactly the difference between of them, how we are going to configure in Fortigate Firewall and we'll show you with the practical lab as well. Okay, so friends, I will highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end so that you can understand this because it will be helpful where you are connecting the Fortigate firewall with the switch or the router or you want to use the redundant or the aggregate interface and it will be very common configuration in all of the organization as well. So I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is aggregate interface and what is written in interface. Okay. So with the help of these two screenshots, we'll try and understand. Okay. So let's say if I talk about redundant interface first. So as you can see in this diagram that there are two ports that is connected to ISP one and ISP two, right? So in this redundant scenario, what happens is there will be two interfaces. Okay. If these port goes down, for an example, port one is going down. Okay. The port two will start forwarding all the traffic, right? So basically redundant interface is kind of a backup. We have a primary or backup kind of a thing. Okay. So active passive kind uh, you can, you can think of. Okay. There are so many ticks, tweaks you can do it now for redundant interface for just for understanding you you just understand a scenario wherein you have port one and you have port two. So port one is forwarding the forwarding all your traffic. And if port one is going down, the port two will take the uh, charge and forward uh, start forwarding all your traffic. Okay. Now we'll understand what is aggregate interface. Aggregate in interface is nothing but we are combining two interface and making it as one. Okay. There are so many groups that you can create just to understand you. Let's say uh, this is a Fortigate firewall. Okay. And I'm connecting to a device and I'm combining two interface and making it as one. Okay. So in case of redundant interface, what was happening? Only one interface was useful. But in case of aggregate interface, I'm using both the interface and making it as one logical interface, right? So whenever the traffic which will be sent from this Fortigate firewall to this device, it will be on both. It will be kind of a load balancing kind of a thing. So as you can understand the difference between aggregate interface and our redundant interface, right? Now we are going to see how we are going to configure. It is really, really easy to configure in Fortigate firewall. You just need to know, uh, let's say if you are using Cisco switch or maybe uh, another switches like Juniper switch, or if I think about other uh, HP switches or something like that. So in that case, you should know what configuration we need to do it at these devices. Okay, so I'll show you in FortiGate how you are going to configure. Okay, so let's hit the lab and try and understand how we are going to configure aggregate and uh, return in interface. Okay, so friends, we'll go to the lab and we'll understand the scenario first how uh, the connectivity of the lab is. So this is our port two, which is nothing but a LAN connection. Uh, this port one is a MGMT interface, nothing but a management interface. And we are making port four and port three as a aggregate interface and the redundant interface as well. Okay. So basically what happens, there is a limitation in EVE NG. Okay. What limitation we have is like 
will not be able to configure L3 Ether channel. So basically we will be able to make L2 Ether channel or a port channel whatever you tell. So those things we will be able to create but redundant interface will not be able to. I can show you in the FortiGate side like how we can configure our redundant interface in FortiGate but in case of switches or the router will not be able to do that. Okay. So let's get started and uh, let's log into the dashboard of FortiGate. So friends, this is a dashboard of our FortiGate firewall and uh, we'll go to the network and interface. First of all, we are going to create uh, the aggregate interface type. So we'll go here and we'll, we, we are going to choose the aggregate and we have to specify the name. I'll just specify as WAN interface and I'll put the numbers for three and four. So port number three and four, right? And then I'll just define the role as WAN. If I want to specify the bandwidth, I don't want to do that. And I'm not assigning any IP address because I want to make it as L2 for now. I'll just click OK and we are able to create it now. Okay. So this interface looks to be up right now, but I have to configure the switch as well. So we'll go to the switch side. Okay and we will configure the switch as well so we'll just go to the configuration okay maybe if it is not visible i feel like it is not visible for you guys so i will just change the size 18 okay i guess it is too much right now so i will make it as i guess 14 will be fine okay yeah, yeah. So interface range and what would be it is one slash g, g slash one and two right so range g slash one hyphen two and uh, first of all switch trunk encapsulation dot one q so we are making as trunk okay and then we just need to define the channel group one mode active right creating okay so we are done with the creation of that i guess whether we have to define the protocol as well so it will be lscp because it is a open uh, and it will be configured i guess pgp is a cisco proprietary and this is open source so that's fine now we'll just go show ether channel summary okay now it is i guess it takes some time but it will come up after some time yeah so now friends we can see it is up right now it takes some time so uh, probably has taken it and uh, it is up right now so now we are going to see how we can configure the returnant interface. We cannot show you the configuration of the switch because we will not be able to do that. But yeah, I will try to show you in this FortiGate how we can do that. Okay, so let me delete this one first. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this and then I'll create a let me rub this out interface and then i will just go here return an interface and then i'll choose the both three and four right and then i will be choosing as one interface same as a one interface and then if i want i can put the ip addresses over here as well I'll just click ok and we are done so guys whenever you want to create a new policy or something so i'll show you if you go to policy create a new or if you choose the outgoing interface you can choose van so both both the interfaces will be coming to the policy so what i'm trying to say is and what i'm trying to explain over here is if both this if i'm writing a rule saying that the source is lan right so source is lan and the destination is van right so i am putting van as both the ports right 
so the traffic is coming from LAN and if this is down the traffic will flow like this or if this link goes down the traffic will be flow like this so this is uh, when you create a policy you will see this option as basically you will see as a zone right so yeah okay so from our end the configuration has been done uh, it's a redundant interface because what happens is whenever we configure and written an interface, we'll just put as WAN interface. So uh, during uh, the explanation, what I have, I was telling you guys that, yeah. So let me just do some small configuration here. Okay. So, so what I'm trying to say is if this port goes down, this will be active and he'll be start forwarding the traffic to this. So this is how exactly it works and this is what I wanted to explain in this video. If you liked it, uh, hit the like button. If you have any uh, increased your knowledge, put it in the comment. If you have any suggestion for my video, you can email me, you can send me a message on Instagram Messenger whatever wherever you want thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never wish a word from me thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you in the next